Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Weekend Recap. But this is a national edition. Eric and I just got back late Thursday night into Friday morning, like 12.30 Friday morning. We were out there for a couple of days. Picked up a decent amount of stuff, as you can see here. I also went out to the flea market uh, this morning and found a few more things too. I want to thank you guys all for being here. So, picked up the typical stuff you'd expect me to go find. Junk wax stuff, <laughs> as usual. Junk wax rookies, wax boxes, even some earlier 80s stuff too. The stuff that I love and that I've always collected and will continue to collect. And some nice singles and also found some decent uh, rookies and got some good deals too. Uh, the National, Eric and I went last year too. It's my third one I've been to. Originally we went to one in 97 and then uh, we went into the hiatus of not collecting for many years. And then we went last year to Cleveland and um, that was pretty awesome. And then this year was kind of overwhelming. Like I said, I've been going through some uh, medical, medical issues and whatnot. So it's kind of overwhelming dealing with that. And um, a lot of vintage stuff, a lot of modern stuff. It was kind of hard to dig through and find a lot of the things that I was looking for, but I did manage to find some decent stuff. And you can see here, I picked up a lot of different boxes of cards and uh, some nice ones too. And uh, here's some uh, super chats right the back from Cody Martin for two bucks. Is mash that like button, everyone. Thanks so much, Cody Martin. Really appreciate that. Please give him a sub. And also one from Jonathan H for five bucks that says, hey, John, hope your head is feeling a little better. Oh, sorry, I'm, t I'm type softer. Thanks for braving the national. Thank you, Jonathan H. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys for being here. You guys are amazing. Yeah, um, I was doing a little better for the last two days, and then uh, my headaches started picking up again. Like I said, I had the CT scan. It revealed that I had a cyst in one of my nasal cavities, and I have to get an MRI done. I have to go to a neurologist and all kinds of other crap. So um, it was pretty bad during the national, so I didn't really... Uh, uh, it was tough to sit there and go through cards and everything else while I had constant pressure in all areas of my head and everything. But still managed to do it and made it back to talk about it. So, um, yeah, we're going to get rip some packs. Picked up eight packs of 89 Upper Deck. I've never pulled the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card out of a pack. So these are low series packs. I got eight packs for uh, 30 bucks. I thought that was a good deal, less than four bucks for a pack. I have the Griffey Rookie, but I've never pulled it out of a pack, and I've always wanted to. So um, maybe tonight is the night that we can finally do that after all these years. Dave Durango, yeah, I definitely do have a headache now, but uh, we will tough it out regardless. This morning I went to a flea market. It was my niece's birthday, so Eric's, uh, one of Eric's daughters, it was her birthday this morning, so I snuck out early this morning, went to a flea market, and found some decent stuff too. This was one of the first pickups. Some of you guys might remember Visionaries, the cartoon from 87. Pretty short-lived cartoon, only 13 episodes. This is a thermos from the cartoon. But a pretty sick cartoon over, overall. Hasbro made the toy line. Uh, two bucks for this was a really good deal overall for Visionaries. Really sweet cartoon. If you're not familiar with it, definitely check it out. Casey Lewis's Holograms, yeah, no doubt about it. And Jemmy Mail says, were there kids at the National? Yeah, there definitely were a lot of kids. I feel like the weekend was going to be a lot more uh, busy. We got there on Wednesday, and uh, that was like the sneak peek. It was only from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Wednesday. And um, it wasn't too busy. Thursday, you saw a lot more people come in there. And I feel like this weekend was probably swamped. 79 Meat Sticks says, I used to have a toys. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so we managed to get some decent deals, like the dollar bins and whatnot like that. I love dollar bins. Love finding the gems in those. Uh, on Wednesday, it was pretty sick. Found some decent deals in there. Uh, flea market this morning is pretty sweet, so a couple good cards overall. But eight packs of these for 30 bucks. Thought that was a good deal. We'll rip through those. And then I had to pick this up as well. I think this was five bucks for an 85 Fleer rack pack with Pete Rose on top. But I figure we can rip through that and maybe find the Pocket Rookie or Clemens Rookie. Eric actually bought the Clemens Rookie out of a $2 bin, I want to say. Or it was in a random bargain bin for 2 bucks at the National, which is a super good deal. But I figure we'll rip through that. 45 cards in there. Maybe we'll find one of those rookies in there. So we'll rip that later on. But let's check out and see some of the singles I picked up. 
thought this Seaver was a nice one. I always liked this card and never owned it. Second year Tom Seaver, 68 tops card in pretty good condition. I think I paid like 15 or 20 bucks for this card. Um, overall, nice one. Pretty good shape. Not the best centering, but it's a 68 tops card, so could not complain at all whatsoever for 15 or 20 bucks. This was a super good deal. Future Hall of Famer, Adrian Beltry. I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for this. Adrian Beltry rookie card, 97 Bowman's best. Super good deal. Uh, did not have this in my personal collection, so was super stoked to pick this one up. Adrian Beltry rookie card. I think he's uh, eligible in 2024, I want to say. Real stoked about that for like, yeah, a dollar or two bucks. Paula, du Paula Duca, 94 Bowman. Never had this card, always wanted it. Four time uh, All Star, Paula Duca. Another nice one. I think I paid a buck for this. Never owned that one. Never even saw it until recently. So I had that to my rookie card collection. Um, most of you guys who watch my channel know that I primarily collect, collect rookies from the 80s and 90s, even 70s too as well. So never had that one on my PC. So now I own that one. Uh, pretty stoked about that. Hey, Tim Shea. Thanks for uh, joining the stream. And a $5 super chat from Don Blomdahl that says, Welcome home from the Nationals. Can't wait for next year. Uh, I'm in, in AC, New Jersey. Free lodging for me there. Screaming to 555 next tier. Thanks a lot, Don Blomdahl. I guess Don Blomdahl is going to the National next year in Atlantic City. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully, uh, Eric and I will see you there. And he is surging on his way to 555 subs. Really awesome. Please check out Don Blomdahl's channel if you have not already. He is constantly pumping out new videos. Hopefully you got your package I sent you. I sent it out before we left for the Nationals. A couple things in there I hope you like. And then this is a pickup. I think I picked this up for like two bucks. Never owned this card, even during the Nomo uh, Surge in 95. Always wanted this one, the 95 Bowman uh, Foil Rookie card. Always wanted that one. And finally added that to my rookie PC, the Nomo Gold Foil. And another one too, we did the recent 95 Bowman Break. And another one I didn't have my PC. Picked this up for a buck. The National Bobby Abreu rookie card. Another nice one. Followed by Bobby Abreu Bowman's best rookie card. 95 Bowman's best. Another nice one for a buck. And the Barry Zito 2000 Tops Chrome rookie card. Another nice one I didn't have in my PC. Kind of where I draw a line of collecting rookies for the most part around 2000. Had to have that one. And Adrian Gonzalez 2000 Tops traded. Another one. I love these dollar bins. I always find uh, stuff in there that I never see anywhere else that I uh, need for my collection. And here's two that I've been wanting for a while that I never come across. These Topps traded sets, or any traded sets for that matter, from the 80s and 90s particularly, never come across uh, any of the rookie cards out of here. But Ozzy Guillen, never see this card until I went to the National as a single. So I picked it up for a buck, was stoked about that. And also his 85 Topps traded rookie card, another nice one. And $2 Super Chat um, from Jonathan H. that says, an A's rookie that isn't plunk disappointed. <laughs> Thanks so much, on an H. But uh, super nice uh, shape here. A lot of people think these are Tiffany cards because of how shiny they are on their back. And, of course, any event like 84 Don Ross rookie card, Eric's fair player from our younger years there. I don't think I had that on my PC. I wasn't sure, so I had to buy it anyways. Love 84 Don Ross. Eric actually bought a box of those there. And boxes 84 Don Ross are super expensive. Very, very expensive. And a $2 Super Chat from Chad Hopkins. It says, hey, John, just got home from the four-day flea market. Thanks a lot, Chad Hopkins. Hopefully you guys had some good luck. I know I talked to you via email, and uh, you were having uh, some pretty decent luck the first couple days there. Hopefully you got my – or hopefully you'll get my um, my package tomorrow I sent you. And this is another, another nice one. I picked up the error card, Lee Smith. Uh, this is actually Lee Smith's rookie card. The error card uh, a few months back at a flea market. The error is the – the Cubs logo is reversed. This is a corrected version. Never had this one, so I had to get this one. This was another national pickup for two bucks. Hall of Famer Lee Smith. And another nice one here from a update set. Saberhagen rookie card. 84 flip update set. I, I love this set. Um, and these are super hard to come across. I was trying to buy the Clemens 84 flip update rookie card today, and this guy was not willing to haggle on the price. I think book value on that card is like 120 bucks, and the guy refused to go lower than 100 bucks. Even at the national, the guy wanted 120 bucks for the card, and I was like, "That's ridiculous! Like, who who wants to pay full Beckett prices for cards?" 
that's just insane to me at least i don't know i hate when people charge book value or book prices for cards it's that's just unheard of to me but uh saber hanging for two bucks his rookie card from Fleur update thought that was a good deal so I had to buy it but the clemens and the pocket in that set are very high valued cards but uh yeah never i've been never been one to want to pay full beckett prices for cards i just thought that was pretty ridiculous and bane's rookie i think i paid a buck for this can't go wrong picking up Hall of Famer Harold Baines. This is 81 Fleer. Not too bad a shape. Now, we also stopped off at uh, the Baseball Card Exchange in Indiana, which is pretty sick. And they took a lot of their stuff to the National, as you can see behind me here. I bought a decent amount of stuff up then, which I'll go over here in a little bit. But uh, they had a nice, like, older rookie binder, which I loved. I had a lot of cards in it, but there were a few I didn't have. So this was a nice one. The Nomo 95 Bowman's Best. Had to get this one, of course. Barry Bonds for a buck. I think they gave me all these cards for like eight bucks, which was, I thought was a good deal. Bonds, I want to say it was like a buck. Had to pick it up for a buck whenever I see it. Jimmy Rollins, his Bowman rookie card. The Juan LeBron, top straight rookie card. Chris Carpenter, 95 Bowman's Best rookie. And the Rollins, Bowman Chrome. And Edgar Renteria, 94 Bowman's Best. So a bunch of uh, kind of like oddball rookie cards I didn't have in my PC. Had to pick those ones up from the baseball card exchange. A guy in there was really cool. Really cool shop overall. We stopped there actually on our way to the National the same day on Wednesday. I think it was about two hours outside of the National. And then this is a dollar card too at the National. Billy Wagner rookie card. Had to pick that one up. Aramis Ramirez, his Bowman Chrome rookie. Never had that one. Had to get that one. And then... Uh, the Fred Lynn 75 Tops rookie card. That was like, I think, two bucks. Had to pick that one up. Jim Rice rookie card. Had to get that one as well. Not the best shape, of course, but I don't really buy PSA cards. I mean, most of my rookie card collection, uh, they're all unslabbed, so I don't really like to mix and match them. I have, a, I mean, I have several PSA cards, but uh, um, I mostly just collect the card to have the card. I don't really go after... You know, PSA 10s. I mean, it's nice to have them, but I'm not going to pay. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to pay 500 bucks or 400 bucks for a PSA 10 Griffey. Uh, just not the collector I am. I just like to, to have the actual card itself. So those the first stack that I have there. And then some other ones here. This is another cool pickup. I thought this was pretty nice. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. Barry Bonds on top of an 87 Fleer cello pack. Uh, pretty stoked about that. Love that card. Obviously not going to open that. I will keep that one. And was stoked on this one. Cheapest I've ever seen this card. And the centering is not too bad on either. Ozzy Smith rookie card for 6 bucks. Could not go wrong. I mean, the corners aren't awful on it. The one here is a little banged up. But still, Smith rookie for 6 bucks. Nearly impossible to find this card with perfect centering on it. But, I mean, usually when I see it... The whole one side is missing. It's just terrible. Six bucks. Usually, I mean, uh, I've seen Eric pick this card up for ten bucks before, but six. I mean, that's crazy deal. Had to get that one. And then, didn't have this one on my PC rookie card collection. Ruben Sierra, eighty-six Fleur update. Had to get that one. Old Ruby, and probably one of the newest cards that I'll buy here. Joe Maurer, two thousand two tops. Had to get that one. I think I paid two bucks for this one. Joe Mao rookie card. Chet Lemons is, is the Aussie crease. No, it's not creased at all. There is no creasing. The only blemish to it is that one kind of bum corner there. But other than that, it is... It's nice. <laughs> Joseph sees his two new. Stop it and go back to the past. Yeah, 2002 is, is getting up there too much. All right, all right. We're going back to the past. Enough of that nonsense. Back to 95 with Hideo Nomo. Electric Diamond. I think this was a buck. This is pretty cool. Um, didn't have this one. I picked up uh, this Nomo, the regular version of this Nomo, recently for a buck, too. So had to add the Electric Diamond to the PC. So I think I've taken care of all the Nomo variations for 95. I finally got Nomo out of my system so many years later. And this was a super good deal. Future Hall of Famer Ichiro. Three bucks for his 2001 rookie card. I thought that was a super good deal. I bought this, uh, I think I want to say I paid like 
six bucks or seven bucks for this at Rogers, Ohio flea market like a month ago. So three bucks for this was a super good deal. And I don't know, it's pretty good shape, good enough shape for me. So couldn't pass on them for three bucks. Future Hoffer Ichiro. And then another one I, I've never owned before. I'm not sure why, but uh, 83 Don Russ for five bucks. This was uh, another national uh, pickup here. Five bucks for Tony Gwynn, rookie card, 83 Don Russ. And I'm not sure if any of you guys ever noticed this or not, but this has always bugged me. I, everyone I've ever seen this card has that blemish in front of his nose there. But uh, overall, this card pretty nice. I don't know, corners aren't on a sharp. Centering isn't uh, isn't too bad either at a first glance. So I thought five bucks for this Tony Gwynn was pretty good overall. So I had to pick that one up. And then a big stack of dollar cards here. Everything in here was a dollar. These are all national pickups as well. And you guys know I love my junk wax cards. Born and raised in the junk wax era. But uh, anytime I see Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards, I, I cannot turn them down for a buck. It's insane to walk away from that. I don't care how many there are in, in, uh, in circulation. But uh, 89 Bowman rookie for a buck or Don Russ, whatever they could be for a dollar. These were all in a dollar bin. So we got there on Wednesday to the National, and these people were there last year too. Um, they just have like three or four black bins, and all the cards are in these uh, card savers, and they're all a dollar. So Eric and I went through there, and they're just like cards from the 70s, 80s, rookie cards. It's insane. But um, they got picked over real quick. Like we got there like probably 20 minutes before 4 o'clock, I want to say, because Eric had VIP passes or whatever because he did that break. And uh, w this is one of the first booths I want to say we made our way to and just went in there and started getting cards. But all these grippies, like, yeah, all, all for a buck. So I couldn't pass on these. I'm like, a lot of these will probably end up giving away because I have some of these in my personal collection, but I can't pass on these. But Bonds, of course, you know, every time Eric sees his card for a buck, he buys it. And, of course, 62 Tops, Whitey Ford for a buck. I, I'm not going to pass it up. I didn't have his card either, so I'll keep this one on my PC. But awesome card. And Mookie Wilson, 81 Tops, rookie card for a buck. Definitely pat, or pick that up. And I don't think I had this one on my PC, the uh, 85 Leaf Doc Gooden uh, rookie card. Nice one. Wishing Doc Gooden all the best with what's going on with him lately in the news. Hopefully he can uh, turn himself around. But uh, didn't have that Leaf Don Russ hybrid there. And then uh, same with the McGuire, super off center, but for a buck. The 87 Leaf Maguire Raid rookie cards. So pretty sick dollar bins. And these people are always there. And then, of course, Bonds rookies for a buck. Can't ever pass on those. And then the Maddox 87 Leaf. Can't pass on that for a buck. And, of course, Hall of Famer Lee Smith. So really sick dollar bins. I think – I forget what Eric bought out there. I think Eric bought a ton of Barry Bonds I think, I think he spent like, I forget how much he spent, but he bought a big stack of 87 Tops Bonds. He has like probably like a thousand of that card. It's crazy. And there's Bane's rookie card again. Bo Jackson's first year, 86 highlights. I didn't have that one, so I had to pick that one up. It's a pretty nice shape too. And then Bo Jackson's Leaf, 87 first year. Nice one. And Jack Moore, 78 Tops rookie card. And this is pretty sick, too. I was real stoked about this because I didn't have this one on my PC. Burt Blylevin, Hall of Famer, his rookie card, 71 tops for a buck. And, I mean, it's not in amazing shape, but it's not in horrible shape either. It's good enough for my personal collection. And the one corner is kind of messed up there, but uh, 71 tops cards are tough to, I don't know, keep in good shape and maintain in good shape, especially from that era. As you can see there, that one corner is messed up. But for my personal collection, I don't really care. Joseph C says, Sean, for a buck, are you kidding me? Yeah, I have no complaints. I mean, you could probably pick this up in better shape for five bucks or whatever, but uh, I'm not going to walk away from it. I'll, I'm, I'll gladly take that for a buck and uh, throw it in a top loader and keep it in my PC and enjoy it. If I find a better one for a few bucks down the road, I'll pick it up. The Wagner, of course, had to pick that up with a reprint. No, it's the actual card. <laughs> had to pick that up. And uh, the 68 Playball Clemente for a buck. Couldn't pass on that. I think there was a few of these in there, but uh, those bins got like overrun by people. And uh, there's like some creasing in there, but I don't know. I don't really think I own too many Clemente cards. Maybe like a couple, but for a buck, 
I always like these play ball cards. There's some writing on the back of there. But Eric bought like the entire set of these, I think, for like 30 bucks at a flea market. And uh, pretty sick. Had to buy that one. Those bins were awesome. I went back the next day and um, they were all picked over like crazy. Crazy. So those are all the uh, singles I picked up over the last couple days. Some decent uh, gems in there. And then moving right into all the wax we picked up. So some of these will be, I mean, we'll do breaks on some of these. Some might be personal. We ripped some packs here as well. I got some decent deals on some of this stuff as well. But I want to thank you guys all for joining us too tonight. Um, 81 Fleer. Nice set here. These aren't super expensive these days. You usually get a box of these for like 80, 90 bucks, something like that. But um, Henderson, second year card. Gibson rookie card. Baines rookie card. So some decent ones in there. And then 87 Don Russ. Love 87 Don Russ. One of my favorite sets of the Junk Wax era. And uh, we've never done a break on those. So I'd love to do a break on those. Looking for Bonds, Rookie Card, and Bo Jackson, and um, Maddox, Larkin, all of those. Probably do that sometime in the future. Had to pick those up. And also 96 Bowman. Want to do a break on those for a while. And, I mean, this will be a cheap break. Probably like, I don't know, $10 a spot or something like that. Nothing too crazy in here. I think the best rookie cards like Raul Ibanez and uh, Jose Guillen and LeVon Hernandez. Um, but this is like kind of close to when I got out of collecting. Did I miss a super chat? I'm sorry. $5 super chat from Dallas Foster. It says, sweet pickups for a buck. Thank you very much, Dallas Foster. I appreciate that, man. Please check out Dallas Foster's channel. He just posted a video of him breaking a box 90 score. Looking for some key rookies. And... I am sending you out something here tomorrow, Dallas. I found that card before I started the live stream. I'll be sending to you. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. But 96 Bowman will be breaking that at some point. Kind of never got to check those cards out because I was done collecting in 90, uh, 97. So it be fun to go back through and check those out. And I told you guys we would do it. I told you guys we'd go back through and check out 95 Bowman and we would... Avenge the last break we did, and we would look for Vladdy, the Vladdy rookie card again, and we were doing it. And this, that's an old price tag, 50 bucks. I, I wish I'd pay 50 bucks for this box. Um, I searched the entire national for uh, the Vladdy Jr. rookie card. I've been wanting that card for a while. Like I said, I used to have it, and I don't know what ever happened to it. I used to have that card. I used to have the Jeter 93 SP. And we moved, and I don't know whatever happened to it. They just got lost along with a bunch of other good rookie cards I had. Couldn't find it. I couldn't find it uh, raw, I should say. I found, like, Beckett 9.5s are, like, 75 bucks. So I don't want a Beckett 9.5. I'd, I'd like to just buy it raw for, like, 25 bucks or whatever, you know. So hoping uh, we could find a Vladdy in here. Um, so I said we would do it, and we were going to do it. 95 Bowman, love that set. We found all the other guys. I don't think we found Scott Rowland in there either. And also, Eric did 84 Fleer for a throwback Thursday. We're going to do 84 Fleer Cello this Tuesday. I'm going to post these um, after this video. These will be posted. I'm going to collaborate, or we are, I did collaborate, I guess, with uh, Jonathan H. Jonathan H. Um, is sponsoring a few breaks here. From baseball Car Exchange, 84 Fleer Cello, um, and a few other ones as well. But this one is the next one made possible by Jonathan H. So those will be going live tonight after this video. So keep an eye out for those. A $5 super chat from Joseph C. That says, with dollar deals like that, I would have pulled up a chair and been making it rain George Washingtons. Thanks so much, man. I really should have. But like I said, it, there's so much to look at. And that place was so massive. And I was having like terrible headaches. And I was just like, ah, oh, what do I do? What do I do? I just I want to look at everything at once. And it's not possible. It's crazy. I should just, yeah, I should have just hung out there and just kept buying stuff because, yeah, it, it was it was intense, man. So many good deals in those dollar bins, and even when you went back to go through when things are picked over, you're still finding like amazing stuff. Paul L says, hopefully we can pull a Wathen in your '84 break. Hopefully there's not a ton of Wathens, uh, like the '81 Don Russ break. But Eric pulled the Mattingly out of his box, so hopefully we can pull a few out of here. There's 28 cards per pack in the cello packs, so um. 
looking forward to doing this this Tuesday for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And these are sealed uh, baseball card exchange boxes, so um, pretty stoked about this one. Coming up this Tuesday. And also, I didn't show you guys earlier, at the flea market, for any of you skateboarding fans, I know there's probably a lot of baseball fans in here, but a lot of you guys were young once. And a lot of you guys probably did skate or at least played Tony Hawk Pro Skater. But I was pretty stoked about this. This pickup was $10. Bucks. Um, we were cruising around earlier today, me and Brittany. So random custom deck here, as you can see there, create a skate from Woodward Camp. Uh, it says Ron on it, but I noticed it's signed by Jamie Thomas, none other than Jamie Thomas, owner of Zero Skateboard. So I had to pick this one up. Jamie Thomas was a huge... Uh, he is a legend and was a huge hero of mine growing up in the 90s. Um, so I had to pick that one. I'm pretty stoked about that pickup from this morning. Legendary Jamie Thomas, if you guys are familiar with him. But custom deck that some kid made at Woodward, who knows how long ago, probably in the early 2000s, some kid named Ryan, and uh, Jamie Thomas signed it. So pretty sick. And I know it's Thomas too because I actually have Thomas's autograph. He actually uh, signed something and sent it to me like two years ago, so pretty sick. Joseph C says, I played Skater Die on NES. <laughs> that game was sick. Dave MC, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Scotty Arms says, why do all the tween girls at the mall wear Thrasher shirts? Now, I hate that. I can't stand a Thrasher turned into that. It's so terrible. And Shaka's Closet says, I'm a skater from 89 to 93. That's rad. So sick. And then the next one up we have is 86 Fleer. Um, another awesome set. Uh, looking for Canseco rookie card in here. Paul O'Neill, Galarraga. This is also uh, authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange. And this is also a cello box. So you have 28 cards uh, as well from here. So we'll also do that at some point. Also made, by po made possible by Jonathan H. <laughs> Casey Lewis says, why are you torturing yourself more ASIC Fleer? And a two-hour super chat from Dallas Foster it says, I have an old Chad Musket deck signed by him. That is sick, man. That is um, that is definitely a collector's item, man. I would hang on to that for a long time. I definitely would hang on to that. Thank you very much for that super chat. That's rad. And 86 Don Russ. Always loved 86 Don Russ. Um, obviously, the Canseco rookie card in here. And um, Cecil Fielder, Paul O'Neill. Others as well. But also authenticated by the BBCE. Made possible by Jonathan H. And another random one. Not sure what I'll do with this one. Probably just pass these on to, to subscribers or fan mail responses, whatever else. I think this is like a $10 box. I thought it was pretty good. Collector Choice from 94. Not the series that A-Rod's in. I'm not sure if Michael Jordan's in this one or not. Um, MJ is in. His rookie card's in this series. But I think he's in Series 2. But pretty cool, though. 94 upper deck. There is the design for you guys. Or not an upper deck. Larry Shoys, I'm sorry. That's a design, though. But for 10 bucks, couldn't go wrong. And this is going to be a good one, too. 1982 Don Russ. So we're going to do this as well. Uh, searching for the Cowerkin Jr. rookie card. Also made, made po possible by Jonathan H., and authenticated by the BBCE. So this will be another sick break. So we have a lot of breaks lined up for the future. And some of these other ones will be personal rips or just ones in general we'll do at some point. And another one here as well, 93 score. I had to pick this one up. Sealed 93 score. And Jeter will be getting in the Hall of Fame real soon here. So um, this will be a sought after box. So we'll rip that one at some point. Wanted to show you guys all those wax boxes. So a bunch of boxes, a bunch of singles, and let's rip some packs. I guess we'll start out with, um, actually, I completely forgot to mention our buddy Ike we met. Some of you guys might have watched, I'm not sure if Ike's watching now or not. I don't even know if he knows about my channel, but Ike, if you guys watch Eric's break, Live from the National, Eric broke boxes of uh, 2019 Chrome. And Ike has been a fan of Eric's channel for a while, I guess. And Ike actually was set up at the National, had a booth there. Very awesome dude and very talented artist, as you can see here. This is a print that uh, he gave to me. Uh, Eric, I want to say, took a trout one, but this is actually his artwork. This is a print. 
of Legendary Jeter there, Ike's Arc Studio. Isaac Ike Rodriguez, so Ike's his nickname. But uh, one of his prints he gave to us. He's a big fan of Eric's channel. And all-around rad dude from Texas. Another one of his art uh, pieces of art there of James Dean, Green Dean 2015. And he's got several pieces of social media there, Twitter, Ike Rodriguez, Facebook, Ike, Ike Rodriguez, there's Instagram, Isaac1976. But check him out. He's a rad dude. Like I said, he drove from Texas. He drove like 16 hours to step at the National. And he hung out with uh, Eric and I at the break for a couple hours while we were there. And he was a rad dude. And um, there's his contact info. His artwork is just amazing. Like the, the Mariano Rivera um, canvas he did was just stunning. So you guys, if you guys are into art, definitely check him out. Check him out on social media. Hit him up, questions, comments, whatever. Um, he was easy to talk to and just a really cool, outgoing dude. So, Ike, if you're watching, man, really nice to meet you. Uh, thank you very much for the print. I'm going to have to get a frame for that hanging up in my house. Um, very, very talented guy. But uh, I, think, I think he might be doing a YouTube channel here sometime soon, too. I think Eric and him were actually even talking about collaborating for a video as well at some point, which would be pretty awesome. But we're going to uh, rip open this 85 Fleer pack. Adam Weiss says, honestly, who gives this channel a thumbs down? <laughs> Probably people that just don't like junk wax. Got a lot of people that hate junk wax out there. How do you not like junk wax? Oh, this is kind of cool. These are individually sealed in cellophane. So we're looking for Pocket Swindell. <laughs> As Paul L says, Swindell is not in this set. Puckett or Clemens. Maybe even some Hall of Famers would be nice. Doc Gooden rookie card. Nice. That's a nice one. Doc Gooden rookie. Was not expecting him. So pretty cool one there. I'll take that one. A little, uh, little bit majorly off-centered. Hey, Randy. Majorly off-centered, but I like that one. And look at this horribly cut Lloyd Mosby card there. See you, Scotty. Thanks for stopping by. What is up with the... <laughs> what is going on with the, the centering in this pack? Fernando Valenzuela and a Phillies card. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's all about collecting what you like. But uh, a lot of people just can't focus on what they like. They focus on hating other people instead. Focus on negativity. And to our super chap and Jonathan H. that says, open a whole box and not one. Nice hit on Doc. Thanks thanks so much, Jonathan H. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, decent pull for the first pack. I thought that was pocket for a second, but it's Kent Home Run Beck, as Eric used to call him. Nothing in pack two. If we strike out, we strike out, but we still got a Pete Rose in the front of here. Boom Slings says it's not a bad cut. On the one card, you put two cards together to make the one picture. Is that right? I guess that could be it. I've never seen those. You know what? Boom Slang is right. Never seen those two befores. I guess you are right there. Good call, Boom Slang. Interesting. Huh. That is pretty uh, pretty neat there. Nice side, Boom Slang. Never seen those before. There's the Pete Rose. So Pete Rose and Doc Gooden so far are not too bad. Could be worse. Hall of Famer Gary Carter. And no pocket, no Clemens. Hopefully we have better luck and we can pull a Kangaroo Junior rookie card out of these packs once and for all since 1989 i've been wanting to pull this card out of a pack let's make it happen right here right now tonight guys thank you all for being here we got 215 people in here you guys rule thanks for all your support let's find us griffy all these years later hey cody martin thanks for stopping by man these are uh the low series like i said i got uh eight packs for 30 bucks crime dog is on top for good measure 
Jonathan H. sent me Crime Dog's autograph on Friday. Got it right next to us here. Crime Dog on top there. Carlton Fisk. Is there two Chet Lemons in this pack? It's nice Nolan Ryan. First pack. Off to a good start. Not a bad pack. Two Chet Lemons. Fred McGriff should be in the Hall of Fame. Fisk is in the Hall of Fame. So is Ryan. Two dollar super chat from Dave Durango. It says Gen Crippy Senior. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Please check out Dave Durango. He's getting close to 400 subs. Let's get him there. We got enough people in here to make it happen. I think he was like 30 away last time I looked. Make it happen, guys. He does a lot of cool videos. He's a good friend of the channel as well. Let's find this Griffey. Tim Raines. Got six packs left. Casey Lewis says hopefully two Griffey's next one. I have the Griffey, but uh, I never pulled out a pack, so. Somebody's got kind of banged up. Never cared for those smaller hologram stickers. $5 Super Chat from Chad Hopkins. Just pull that Griffey makeup for no bonds error car from FMF Don Russ box I gave you, LOL. Thanks so much, Chad. I hope so. Casey Lewis says, I'd love a Will Clark if you pull one. Oh, yeah, certainly. Uh, Felix Jose, come on, man. Hey, Eric. Welcome to the stream. Felix Jose on top. A dollar super chat from Mark Liddick. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Frank Viola. It's Paul Molitor. And there's a nice Jose Canseco. A lot of Jose fans on here. And speaking of Will of Thrill, there he is, Casey Lewis. There's Will of Thrill. And we have a rookie card here, but it's old Felix Jose. Not... Our buddy Ken Griffey. And a two buck super chat from Baltimore Box Breakers. Three Chet Lemons in one pack would be seven years bad luck. Thanks, man. Please check out Baltimore Box Breakers. Click on that uh, super chat and give him a sub. Really appreciate that. A lot of Doc Goodens tonight. Maybe that's uh, good karma for him. Maybe he'll overcome his uh, demons there. It's nice Barry Bonds. I always like that Kirk Gibson card. Another Nolan Ryan. Two Nolan Ryans. Not sure if you have that one or not. Jonathan H. Big Nolan Ryan fan. Ah, uh, might have to be a Cubs logo there. They're still printing this Griffey card in 1990, so. Nice Wade Boggs, another Gibson. Look who it is. No escaping him. There's no escaping the Sabo. We have two packs left, guys. Jim and Manos says, time to get to Griffey. Chet Lemus says, Doc Gooden's been played by Demons for a good 30 years at least. He definitely has. Angels. Prospect on the back. Dante Bachette rookie card. He used to have a lot of value to it back in 89. Nice Donnie baseball card there. Nice Dale Murphy. Too bad it's not the reverse negative in this set. Been looking for that card for a long time. Yeah, that was a hot card back in 89. We have one pack left. If I can't pull this uh, Griffey out of here, we'll have to do... So get a box of these. Ah, it's a Mets. David West. David West. Curse you. I rue the day you were born, David West. There's still hope. Bray Anderson, that's actually his rookie card. Van Snyder. Tennelton. Barry Larkin. 
David West. We did not pull a Griffey. We tried eight packs, no Griffey. 30 years later, and still no Griffey out of a pack. But, not giving up hope yet. One day we'll pull that Griffey out of a pack. Thank you guys all for being here tonight. I really appreciate it, everything. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy what I picked up. Please drop me a line down below. Let me know what you liked. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I will see you guys all on Tuesday for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. Thanks again for watching. And enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. See you all soon.